Hey, this is Emily Galvin Almanza. I'm a longtime public defender and the founder of Partners for Justice, an org designed to transform public defense in America. And I promised you that once a week, I was gonna tell you something that you don't know, but should know about your criminal legal system. And today I wanna to talk to you about how our legal system is driving families into debt. Now we know something from all of the literature on what creates safety in America. Stability creates safety. If a person has a house, a job, the ability to put food on the table, access to medical care, mental health care, they are really not likely to engage in crime. So things that promote stability should be things we, we want, right? All right, well, our legal system is doing the opposite of that by driving people into debt. Everything in the system can cost money. People can get charged court fines, court fees, the cost of their own prosecution can be charged to them. Sometimes the cost of their own constitutionally mandated defense lawyer can be charged to them. And of course, the cost of ankle monitoring, of supervision, all of these things which create debt just because somebody is accused of a crime, not even necessarily found guilty. There have been cases of people being charged tens of thousands of dollars after being found innocent under the law. Beyond that, though, if a person is incarcerated, remember, prisons are the last place where slavery is legal in America. So people may be making 83 cents an hour working a job, and then when they turn around, being asked to pay 80% more than the outside world for something as simple as soap. It's gotten so bad that 83% of families surveyed in Alabama who'd been formally incarcerated said that they were going without food or medicine or other necessities because of their old court debt. And a further 38% of people in that survey said they'd had to commit new, more serious crimes just to pay off old court debt. So literally, once again, our system is perpetuating crime and causing more crime instead of making anyone safer.